In this video, we will add visibility to the variables in the general controller window. So if you push the edit PGM button, it'll open up the text file that we wrote in the previous section. So what we want to do is we want to display the autoclave temperature and the cobalt extent in the access window of the general controller. It's a very simple thing to do. So when you declare the variable, if you just type the at symbol behind the variable when it's declared, that will then display it in the access window. If I save that text file, go back into SysCAD and reload the PGM, you'll see we've got this new page D1. Click on it. There are those variables that we've now displayed, the autoclave temperature and the cobalt extent. However, they don't have conversion units, so we'd like to add conversion units and show that autoclave temperature is in degrees Celsius and cobalt extent is in percent. So if I go back into my text file, there is an example in the PGM text file if we go down you'll see here how you show your conversions. So if you want to say fractions, an example, frac percent, and for temperatures, well, it's T and C. Knowing that, I can go back up to where I declare my variable, so autoclave, it's going to be temperature, open brackets, capital T, and for your conversions, it's important that you do get your case right, as they are case sensitive, Celsius, and then for cobalt extent, this is fraction, frac and it's going to be in percent. So you do your conversions at the point of declaring the variables. If I now save that, go back into SysCAD, you can now see that the autoclave temperature is in degrees Celsius and cobalt extent is percentage. The other way to see what the conversion units, how you can use them in your text file, if we go to view, conversions, this gives you a list of all the conversions that are available in SysCAD in alphabetical order and how you use them. So for instance, if we're looking at here's your concentration, grams per litre, milligrams per litre. In our next exercise, we'll look at adding in variables that the user can change in the access window.